Yeah, no, we went through a bit of a rough patch there a few months ago, but the valley's all freshened up again and it's looking magnificent. And just a thank you to everyone that helped through the fires. It was unbelievable. The volunteers, everyone was just brilliant. So I can't thank them enough. Um, and enjoy the show. Great for Tuma to have Fan and Dan here. They are wonderful. And we are just so lucky to have them. Dan gave me the tip on what to say, but I've forgotten what it was. But anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Fanny Lumsden. <laughs> My name is Gansigir Gudjigan. I'm an Arago snow person. Kaji Naka Narigo. Welcome to Narigo country. Tuma Valley is nestled right up against the western side of the snowy mountains. It's Nagarigo country, snow country, and more recently, it's man from snowy river country, where farmers have been taking their cattle to the high plains for summer grazing for generations. Tuma, or Tumba, Tumba. as it's pronounced in Nagarigo, it's, it's got a, got a bee in it. means Mother Earth. Tumba, Mother Earth. We're really lucky to call this valley our home. However, we usually spend most of our year away from it, on the road, touring the country, playing shows. And after a particularly full-on six months, where we'd put on shows in over 40 halls all over Australia, we were gunning for our these days. For these days. You know that time between Christmas and New Year's where all time and space collide and all bets are off? However, this year it wasn't meant to be. We have three fires, um, big fires, burning, and Tuma's kind of like this little pocket that's kind of cut off, so we're just kind of waiting. So we're just putting the rubbish, all the rubbish kind of away in a shed that's away from the house. We've got buckets and all that kind of stuff and just doing more preparation while we still can, while it's still calm, before it really gets hot. Um, and yeah, just making sure that everyone has supplies. So we've got fuel in the vehicles and, but um, yeah. It was never a matter of if it would burn, but a matter of when. Baby's fine. 
lost breath and a harvest lost grain Where have you were when you first got laid? Yeah, when mama walked out when it still hasn't rained Yes, yeah, some of this is magic and some of this is pain We didn't do our growing up here. Apart from a short stint from when I was young, we mostly lived out west in red dirt country. However, the mountains have always been very special to my family. My dad and his family grew up in the shadow of Mount Buffalo in northeast Victoria. And he is bound to the bush in many ways. And he passed that on to us. And my husband and I moved back here at the end of 2015. I wrote these songs in a season of change. I felt like it wasn't time to dwell on the hardship of drought, of loss of struggle anymore, but for something beautiful and something to find solace in, and something of hope. I'm gonna pull it, do you have a hand pull it towards you, the door? Oh, Christ. Making up a guitar amp and a horse float, nothing to see here, folks. Hey. 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 Medicius. Thumbs up all round today. I'm just that's my that's my go-to. Yeah, just, you know. just a good thumbs up. How are we going here? What do you reckon, Wolves? Had a big week. Um, had lots of stuff going on, but um, the music feels exactly right, exactly right at the right time. So. You and I burst my heart wide open. You more than I'd ever been hoping. Didn't know I could feel this at the same time. You light through the leaves where trees shouldn't grow. Same time too slow. I'm trying to feel it as it flies by. Oh, it's more. Oh, you're more than black and white. 